Jerry Dulac of the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette here on the Rich Eisen Show. Let me get to, I mean, man, this is the lead as far as I'm concerned, not to tell you how to do your job. You've been outstanding for as long as you've done it, Jerry. But in the penultimate paragraph, you write, in any event, <laughs> this is like an aside here, the Steelers are not interested in bringing in a quarterback who wants to be a starter. And, and uh, listen, I know the Steelers have a certain set way of doing things, but why not? Why, why wouldn't uh, they? R- Rich, because they're committed to Kenny Pickett. Now, let me say this. Nothing, of course, is going to surprise me. And I say that because when Justin Fields was coming out, and at the time, I said this at the time, mm-hmm. that if Justin Fields were on the board when the Steelers picked, which, of course, he wasn't and probably wasn't going to be. Right. I think the Steelers were picking 23rd, and he went, what, 8th or 6th or whatever he went. I said, if he were on the board and the Steelers had the opportunity they would take Justin Fields, I was told this by a coach, over any other player. And I said, and I mentioned uh, whoever else was in that class, and he said, I'm just telling you if Justin Fields is on the board, they're going to take him. And the point of that is that's how much they really like Justin Fields. So if all of a sudden they brought in Justin Fields, I wouldn't be shocked. I'd be a little mildly surprised. And I say that because they are committed to one more year with Kenny Pickett. And, and that being said, I can't imagine Justin Fields wants to go to a situation where he is not the entrenched number one quarterback. Why would he want to do that? I don't even think he'd want to go somewhere where there would be a competition. But that aside, uh, their commitment for, for this third year is Kenny Pickett. And again, he is 14 and 10 as a starter. You go back to the end of his rookie year to the beginning of last season. During that stretch, he was 12-5. and five. That's not bad. That's a playoff team right there. No. I don't think they're not ready to give up on Kenny Pickett. And I, and I, and I hear you. Um, but we just saw a Super Bowl in which it, we are all freshly rem- reminded we're, we're rent payers in Patrick Mahomes' world. So you're going exactly. you're, you're to need to have somebody at the position, um, you know, who can go point for point with him. And, and Brock Purdy, uh, I understand – damn near pulled it off as well and maybe Pickett can can have that sort of accuracy and using his legs in the same way that Purdy can I I totally get that but when you're talking about Justin Fields he could be available as soon as what this point next month entirely possible for a, a second or a third round draft choice potentially because the the Bears might just need to um trade him quite frankly and you brought in Arthur Smith. Why wouldn't he be a perfect quarterback for something that Arthur Smith can do, running, passing, creating a, a situation for a Steelers offense that we haven't seen, you know, since obviously Big Ben in his running around days or even Cordell, right? I mean, like, you could you could really start slashing it up with him, Jerry. No, you know, Rich. If if you had uh, uh, more time on your first Sunday with NFL football yesterday, you could have gone back maybe six more days. And I brought up that very same point okay. that Patrick Mahomes reminded everyone, not that anybody needed to remind, uh, needed to be reminded, but you need that quarterback if you want to win the Super Bowl. And let's face it, go back th- to 2001 and almost without fail, look at who won. Uh, the Super Bowl, the quarterbacks, quarterbacks who are either in the Hall of Fame or are going to be in the Hall of Fame with very few exceptions. You know, Nick Foles, of course, you can debate Joe Flacco, um, but nonetheless, they were all marquee elite quarterbacks. And yeah, when you have that guy, um, you know, that's if you don't have that guy, you're not going to get there for the most part. The the odds show that the, the percentages and I'm not I don't think do I think Kenny Pickett is that guy? No, I don't. I think Kenny Pickett is a nice quarterback. Do I think he's an elite quarterback? Um, I didn't think that when he came out. Now, obviously, he could prove me otherwise, but I just believe that whatever it is that the the Steelers believed in Kenny Pickett two years ago is unchanged. And so I don't see them taking that on. If anything, I see them bringing back – well, I know they want to bring back Mason Rudolph, and he is not averse to coming back. He's also not averse – to maybe exploring free agency, which is why if the Steelers want him back, they better move swiftly. But, um, you know, what they saw with Mason Rudolph was a guy who can win games for him. Is he an elite quarterback? (laughs) No, I don't think so either. But I just don't think they're ready to give up on Kenny Pickett. But that's why this year is a big year for him, Rich. You know, they'll give these guys, quarterbacks especially, three years. And if they don't believe he's that guy after three years, 
then they'll kind of move on from. Let's face it, Kenny Pickett isn't five and eleven or or six and twelve as a starter. He is fourteen and ten, and and that's you know counting that ugly stretch when he started as a rookie. So he has proven that um, you know he was seven and four when he got hurt. So he has proven that he can win games for him. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern for free. 